So I'm super excited for second Tuesday lunch and learn today to be here with um, the Honorable Marcus Gaetani, um, principal at Gaetani Real Estate, um, a property management company with a lot of experience and uh, a gentleman who knows the the. Well, you're very involved with many organizations. So from, from the, the, the breadth and, and the width of property management, you are the oracle. So Marcus, thank you for, uh, for joining us today. So uh, yeah, so three things that somebody, we want to talk about just the three most important things to vet when uh, you know, taking on changing a property manager, getting a new property manager or making the decision that it's time for a property manager. Of those three things, what's number one? What's the first thing on the list? Yeah, number one is um, you have to do a lot of thinking about why exactly you want to hire a property manager or why you want to switch to a different property manager. Maybe you're unhappy for some reason with your current uh, management situation. So really uh, asking yourselves the questions, why am I hiring a property manager to manage my house, to manage my six unit building, my 20 unit building, whatever it is, um, and really understanding what your needs are, uh, and then be able to express that to the property managers that you interview. So that, that'll really help them and inform them on how to, how to manage your property. So for example, are you hiring a property manager to simply give yourself more free time? That seems to be... Um, what the majority of our clients seem to want out of hiring us. They want to extract themselves from the day-to-day -day responsibilities uh, of managing properties, which as you know- well, That's what I would want. I, yeah. I, I don't want somebody calling me about a toilet at nine o'clock on a Friday night. So- Exactly. Um, yeah, so more, more free time seems to be uh, one of the big issues um, that people hire us for, uh, which equates to less hassle and less stress in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, so that's valuable. Uh, people also hire us because uh, they want less exposure. You know, around here, we call them bear traps, you know, things you step in that can trap you and get you in trouble. Um, there's a lot of compliance issues that, you know, we have to make sure the buildings uh, and property owners adhere to. And it changes a monthly, yearly, certainly, uh, with all the new requirements and disclosures we have to give and soft story upgrades, fire alarm upgrades, things like that. Uh, you know, we're the professionals and we deal with this stuff every day and we're involved in all the trade organizations and are up to date on all this, all these things, um, and which are hard for a, a property owner sometimes to kind of keep up with. Well, let me show you a scenario with uh, some of the fiduciaries that we work with. They may be in a situation where um, they're taking over uh, some property it might be a single family that they need to get rented. It might be a two unit building. It might be a few units. It might be a condo. Um, uh, sometimes they're not, there's been maybe a few years where there's been things have been kind of forgotten about or neglected because, you know, there's a transition period for the person who needs the fiduciary um, to, you know, getting to that point. And so they're, there might be you know, not a lot of records. There might not be a lot of information. It might be difficult to find a lease. It might be like some of these things would be like, what do I do? Where do I start? Um, is that, you know, somebody's in that situation and they need to kind of hand it off to a professional. Um, is, that a, is that a hot potato that, um, that you can, you can uh, grab onto and, and help somebody through? Yeah, it is. And we've done that uh, quite a bit in the past, uh, certainly during the financial crisis of 2008, 2009. Uh, there were a lot of foreclosures and a lot of buildings that kind of fell into receivership and trustees and whatnot would contact us and, um, you know, that to help figure out what's going on because they, they aren't property managers themselves. So we're certainly accustomed to that. And you're right. Um, the third item I was going to talk about tonight was all the documents that ideally we would need to get started um, to manage a property. But the reality is sometimes, you know, owners or, or trustees or fiduciaries don't have that uh, documentation. So yeah. all we can do is, is, you know, ask for it, get what we can get and try to piece it all together as best we can. We certainly send out uh, questionnaires or estoppels um, to the current residents of the building to at least get what their understanding of what their rent is 
um, what their security deposit is to um, just have something documented for our records. Not to say that is the end result, but you know, at least it's something we could uh, you know, collaborate with when we get other documentation to support it or not support it. But yeah, that's, that's something that we do. Um, and, and usually when we get these types of properties or these assets, they're sort of in a distressed state. Uh, there's a yeah. lot of deferred maintenance, a lot of vacancies. Uh, some ambiguity about who's living there and what. And so, yeah, a property manager can certainly help you uh, untangle that. But my, my, my advice is to be very upfront with the property manager when you, when you do start interviewing different companies or individuals and let them know exactly what uh, they're up against because some, some may shy away from it. It might just sound like too much work or not worth it. And some may say, oh, we can, we can handle that. We do that all the time. So definitely put all your cards out on the table and let everyone see... Uh, you know, all the warts and whatnot at the building, because that'll just really help everyone be more successful in the end. Yeah. And, you know, in a lot of ways, the, the, the cost of property management tends to be fairly standardized, kind of like within the real estate industry for on the sales end, you know, commissions are, you know, are, are, are pretty and uh, you're, you're going to get similar commission scenarios from um, uh, different companies. So, Working with a property management company that has the resources that then maybe an individual or a very small company that doesn't have a lot of resources. And in a lot of ways, you pay the same money. And I don't see why people would go the other route. But some people, you know, um, you know going with a, a company that has the resources would be, in my opinion, uh, the, the, the smartest way to do it. And you know, that leads into the fact that Gaitani Real Estate is a company with a lot of resources. You've um, you, you've uh, quite a quite a, an impressive setup um, and structure uh, there. So so to recap, uh, Marcus, the three things really are interview, kind of be upfront and just kind of tell the property manager kind of what you're looking for, um, and then the other is. Second is kind of be clear on, on what you're looking for. Like, are you looking for somebody to help you get the building back into shape? Or are you looking for somebody to kind of give you, you know, more, be more professional and take care of all of the nuances? And then third, you know, if you have records or you don't have records, this is a great way to start getting the records straight. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And which makes the asset more valuable because the more data we have on, on uh, a property and well-run buildings tend to be easier to sell and they sell for more money. Yeah, absolutely. When there's more clarity about what's, you know, what's the actual rent roll, who's actually living there, all of those things matter, certainly when you're trying to sell the property. Um, but when you, when you are talking to a property management company, it's really important to ask a lot of questions of, of the company itself to find out how are they structured? I mean, you mentioned the companies that are smaller and some that are larger, some have more or less resources. I think the best companies are the ones that have a lot of resources, but also have themselves structured in a manner that they operate very much like a small, intimate kind of relationship with their clients. And that's kind of how we like to structure ourselves. So we do have the redundancy built in. We have the property managers with all the support, but you're just dealing with one property manager and our clients seem to like that because they know who to call and ask um, when they have a question or they need some clarity on something. So they're not in a situation where they're like, oh, who do I call in this? They can just call directly to their manager and yeah. they're the person that uh, makes sure that uh, whatever it is, is, uh, is taken care of or, or dealt with. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, speaking of financials of a property, I wanted to go back to this real quick. It's really important to understand uh, for yourself, but also for us to understand about the property owner, what exactly when you want improved financial performance, what does that mean? Does that mean improved cash flow or does that mean improved equity? Right. And sometimes the two uh, don't correlate together. Right. Because you have yeah. to spend money, sacrifice yeah. short term cash flow to help the equity of the building. be right. You know, so as long as we understand the goals and the objectives of the owners, we can tailor our management uh, towards their goals and their needs. Yeah. So that's important. Yeah. Perfect. Well, and so, you know, if we have a fiduciary who is in need of triage or in need of help and they want to come and talk to a property manager, how, how do they find you, Marcus, or how do they find your company? Well, they could always uh, go to our website, gaitanirealestate.com. 
email me at marcus at gaitani real estate.com uh, or just give me a ring at 668-1202 area code 415 i'd be happy to talk to anyone about their property the fiduciary that own, you know that is that is uh making the decisions on it and uh can, we can either help them out and if we can't uh certainly point them in the right direction perfect perfect and um, I'll open it if there's anybody who has any questions, we're, we're happy to pose those questions. If no questions at all, we're, we're good for today and um, we'll be inviting you back because we like you so much, Marcus. Uh, <laughs> it sounds good. If, 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 you'll, if you'll continue to, uh, to do it every time, every time we ask. Uh, uh, Absolutely. Rock and roll. Yeah, it seems like everybody's in the chair. So we're uh, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Marius. That's so it's Gaitani Real Estate dot com, and then for us, it's Elevation Real Estate dot com.